Hello, my name is Christian Schaeffer and I will talk about Catwalk, which is an optimizing JIT compiler embedded in Julia. It can speed up long running processes by minimizing the overhead of dynamic dispatch. Uh, but wait, uh, Julia itself is already a JIT compiler, isn't uh, Well, uh, let's go back to traditional compilers. Uh, they run separately from the code. So, like when the machines lay the tracks first, and then execution, like a train, runs through the generated code. Um, Julia, on the other hand, can switch between execution and compilation. Code generation will be deferred to the latest possible point, just before execution of that piece of code. The compiler has more information at the time, which it can use to optimize better. However, in Julia, we typically only lay new tracks and don't renew existing ones. Once a code was compiled, it is not really possible to recompile it, meaning that information gathered during execution of the code cannot be used to re-optimize it. And this re-optimization during runtime is what Catwalk does for you. It provides dynamic dispatch in your code, measuring the distribution of dis dispatch types and generates fast type stable routes for the most frequent ones. So let's, uh, let's, see, it, uh, let's see how it works. Uh, this is a classic example of the rock, paper, scissors game. Uh, where hands are modeled with types and game logic is implemented using multiple dispatch. The play function returns 1 if the first player wins, 2 if the second and 3 on die. Um, the play land function simulates a single play of two random strategy players. Uh, by the nature of our design, the call to play is dynamically dispatched because all we know is that both hand1 and hand2 are subtypes of the abstract type hand. The dynamic dispatch implements our main logic and it is where most of the runtime is spent, so we will try to speed it up. Um, yeah. So let's say that the player and function is called in a hot loop. Uh, why? Well, if it's not called in a hot loop, then there is hardly a reason to speed it up. So uh, a match is a sequence of plays between two players. We count the results in an array. Going further, a tournament is a matrix of matches. All play all 1000 long matches. If uh, we check its performance, we see that it's not very slow with more than 10 million games per second, but it can be much faster. So let's try to speed it up. Uh, when we do not want to re redesign and union, union splitting fails to work in this case, then the first real solution is what we call manual dispatch. The code seems strange at first because all the branches do the, do the same thing. But if you ask what is the semantics of performance optimization, then the answer is that it must be an op. The optimized version is equivalent with the original. The difference between the branches is not semantics, only implementation. The trick is that inside the branches the compiler knows the concrete uh, type of hand1 and it will generate fast code based on this knowledge. You may have noticed that the type of hand2 is still unknown, so we still dispatch dynamically. But a single dispatch is easier and the Julia compiler is very smart, it generates different code for the branches, so stabilizing hand1 is enough for us now. 
The only problem with this solution is that we have to list the concrete uh, types in, in the source code, which limits extensibility. If you want to introduce a new hand and still run fast, you have to change this code. That may not be feasible. So we arrive at catwalk, uh, which will automatically generate code that looks like this. Uh, let's see what we have to modify uh, in our code. Um, we mark the play rent function with the JIT macro and provide the name of the dynamic dispatch function, which is play, and the argument to stabilize. Uh, then we also have to explicitly add the, uh, the JIT CTX argument which will drive the recompilation. When the catwalk optimizer decides to compile a new version, it changes the type of this uh, JIT context, which will trigger recompilation. The type of the context describes the list of concrete types to stabilize. The body of the function is, is the same, and pretty much uh, only forwards the JIT context explicitly. Uh, while on the outer level, uh, we, we need some housekeeping. Uh, catwalk uh, works in batches. It can recompile between batches and it profiles batches separately. So here, here a batch is a single match. Okay, and, and here, here we get uh, the JIT context from catwalk and this call is dynamically dispatched. Okay. So, and it is much faster now. We, we can win up to 50%. Of course, your mileage may vary. There is a huge initial compilation cost, so long running processes will see higher wins. Uh, Catwalk was designed to handle situations where type distribution changes significantly during the run. Uh, this simple example shows in an action. The debug logs show that um, 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 there was uh, no scissors type uh, during the during the first um, profiling. So the first profile does not contain the scissors type, but as it later appears, catwalk recompiles. Uh, one more thing. We had no time to look inside, but there is no magic here. Even if you are a relative beginner to Julia, I suggest you to check the source code of Catwalk. It is simpler than you may think. But be warned, metaprogramming is a rabbit hole. Thank you for your attention.